Uh, this is it here. It's a great wee pot, and it really imitates you know, the wee dabs and It's got a lot of movement in the tail. Uh, it's very exciting. The eyes as well, that just adds a wee bit of extra sparkle to it. Uh, so, here's how you tie it. The hook I'm using is a Kamazan B170 size 12. And the thread I'm using to tie it is a Uni 80 uh, light keyhole. Now just start a thread at the eye of the hook and come down halfway between the eye and the point of the hook. And then come back up just uh, just just a wee bit more than halfway. It's basically where you want to position your eyes. It's up to you, it's your fly. Now the eyes I'm using, these are damsel eyes. It's a vineyard. Yeah, this is in here. Damsel eyes and this is the small green. I find these work very well. Now I've got the red. It's in there. But they're large. So I like to use the smaller ones. They're also very good for fry imitations as well. I would just put them, put them onto your hook. A couple of good figure of eight wraps. And I like to wax my thread at this point. It just stops it basically from slipping on the the plastic bit of the eye, the plastic shank of the eye if you want. Now just coming across through here. You're just coming across basically onto the bottom eye. Cross, come underneath, back up, and across onto the other side. Under that eye, cross, under that eye, under that eye, cross, under, cross, under, cross. And every now and again, you just want to give a couple of turns onto the hook shank. That will basically just secure them in. Now, basically, you shouldn't be able to move your damsel eyes. So that's them there. Now what you can do is, I've got some UV varnish, in this case it's a UV flu. And, I don't know if you can see the UV there, but you can, sometimes just the way the light hits the bottle you can see that nice, sort of, UV colour. Now just get your brush, and you just want to dab it onto the eye. Now basically just by running the brush along the eye like that, you can see it's turning. Do that to both eyes. I just like to put a wee bit in the middle just to hold it. Now just come onto the ends of the eye. A wee bit on there. Same with the other side. And that basically just holds it in place and gives it a wee bit of extra kind of shine. Now run your thread up. Until when you let go of your bo uh, uh, the bobbin, thread sets in line with the barb. Now for the tail, I'm going to use some marabou, turkey marabou, and a medium olive. This is it here. And I'm going to take quite a, a large pinch. And the larger you get, I find the better with the fly. You don't want a wee skinny fly with that much on it. You want a good pinch because it gives it a lot of movement. And basically, it, you know, your tail's going to get hit against rocks or pulled along the weed beds, and a trout's going to come up. Every now and again, it'll grab the tail and it will rip some of the fibres off. And if you've got a wee tail, the fly won't last as long as it would with a big tail. Now, just snip off the waste piece that you get uh, by pulling it off of, the, off of the, the actual feather itself. And you'll notice the fine fur or fluff on it. Just if you wet your finger, it's a lot easier. And you can pull that off to really uh, reveal the bare stalks. There. And I like to just moisten that, tie them in. A couple of turns, keeping it on top. And 
Now I'm going to do that again. Come in, getting about roughly the same amount as you did last time. Come away with the waste pieces again. And just pull away all that fluff. Now that's your tail there. For the rib, I'm going to use some Uni Myler. This is Peril and it's a number 14. You can see it's, the, it's quite thin. It's great for this fly though. The Peril, it just, it basically just gives the fly that wee bit more added sparkle and attraction. The trout will come in and have a look. And it will see that it looks like a damselfly. And it'll think, yummy. And you'll be playing a fish before you know it. Now just come in, trim away the waste piece, about a millimetre or so, eh, before your dam's lies. Just bring that up, and go back down. Oops, it easy. Come back up. Now you want to stop about a millimetre before the eye, and that's the damsel eye, not the eye of the hook. Now I've got some olive seals for here, and I'm just basically just going to dub it onto a thread. I like to add a wee bit of varnish, eh, a wee bit of wax before I do that. It dubs a lot easier. Now, I think I've mentioned in other videos that I hate using seals for, and I'll second that again today. I hate using seals for. Some seals for substitutes that you get are a lot easier to dub, and as well, you can use other things. Now, just you see, dub it on and wind it down, <coughs> and just add another wee bit. Take your back up. There we are. If you've got any fibres that are a bit too long, just give them a pull and they'll come out. Now for the rib, I mean, take your rib and just start to rib the fly. Now you only want about three, two or three tons of it. Cross your thread. Nice and tight tons in there just to lock it down. Just come in, trim that away. Now for the legs. <coughs> for the legs I'm going to use a thin mallard flank feather. And I've just removed the fluff from the bottom and I've took away the tips. Basically, just come in with my scissors and snip away it goes, and left that there. Now, the amount of legs that you want is basically this here, so you can add to that, basically by not taking it off, or you can take off more. Yeah, to give you, you know, less legs. Anyway, I'm going to colour this using sharpie. This is a green sharpie, permanent marker, and I bought four of these. You see them here, they're fantastic pens. So they're a green, a blue, a red, that's red by the way, not pink, and a black. And basically you can colour this light coloured thread as well. Really light gay hill, whites, yellows. And also you can colour feathers as well. You could dye these feathers, but you know, for all the time it takes. This just gives it a really nice colour. Now just set the feather down on a piece of paper and just come up with a permanent marker stroking the feathers up and colouring them there we go now remember and put your lid back on your pen 
otherwise they'll dry up very quickly. Now that is all that you need there. It's a nice, you can see it's lighter at the tips. Yeah, that's basically just because the tips fray out and you've got less, less feathers up there. Now just place it, the length that you want basically is the length of the, the hook. So just place it onto the hook like that, get your length and just put your, take your fingers, pull them down either side. Now this is when you can judge how much legs you want. Just do it once and you can have a look. Now that's a wee bit too much on my side here. Just un unwrap it. Take some away. Don't take too much away, it's better to take less. Then just do it again, take your time. Then take too much. A few turns again. That's a lot better. Now just tighten up. Fold this back. A couple of turns in there. Come in with your thread. Eh, sorry, your scissors. Just trim that away. Now, a wee bit more of your seals for. Just dub this on. You only need a small pinch for this bit. Basically all you need is two or three turns behind the eyes and then a turn through the eyes and onto the, the, the hook at the front, the shank. Now you can just get some wax, put some wax on your thread, basically stops the thread from slipping and just come in a whip finish. Two, three is plenty. If you like to add varnish, you can, you can either use a wee needle or I'm just using the tip of a scalpel knife. Well, it's a very blunt knife that. Now, the natural fly is only an inch long. That's the mistake a lot of people make when they're tying damsel nymphs. Basically what they do is they have a 4x long shank hook, size 10, which is in itself about that long. Um, and they tie the body on that and then they have a tail the length of the shank, which basically is twice the length of that, which is about 2 inches. And that's basically a streamer pattern. It's a lure, it's not a, a natural, natural nymph like this. So basically what you want to do is just line it up you want to line it up with the damsel eyes, not the actual eye of the hook. And then you just your finger over there, stroke it back till you get to an inch where the inch mark is. Which is just there. Take away your ruler. Wet your fingers. And then you can just spread the fibres up like that. It makes them a lot easier to pull away. There you are. And that is basically your wee damsel nymph there. It's a superb wee pattern. Um, it's another one that I've made up as well. I'm probably not the first one to make it up, I'm sure. I mean, it's a very, it's an easy method, so I'm sure someone else has done it. But I just sat down five minutes ago and tied this up, like 15 minutes ago. And that is basically your wee damselfly nymph.